going to show you how to make channel art using PicMonkey. So the first thing we want to do is open up Safari, and this is on a Mac computer. So we're going to open up Safari, and we're going to go into YouTube. You want to go to my channel, and we want to go, this is what I was working on, but I realized that I made the T capital, so I'm going to fix that, but I'm going to show you how to do this. So you want to go over here, this little pencil guy, click on it, edit channel art, and then it's going to pop up this window. So if you don't know how to edit your channel art, they give you templates. So we're going to go down here where it says how to create channel art, click on that, and then scroll down and where it says channel art templates, you're going to click on that. So I've already done that. And then now we're going to leave this screen and we're going to go to PicMonkey. Okay, so we're going to open up PicMonkey. And we're going to edit a photo. So now you're going to go into that template, and mine is under downloads. And you want to use the one that's fireworks. So this one says fireworks. You're going to go into that. All right, so there it is there. This, we're going to go into the text. So over here, where you see the T, you want to click on that. And we're just going to go ahead and use a text. I think if you use a chunkier looking text, it looks better. You can do more with it. So then just choose a text that looks chunky. And I am going to use ultra. Okay, so then we're going to add text. And then I'm just going to type in my name. Okay, so my name is typed out and I'm going to center it and then I'm just going to make it larger. So we want to make it larger. You want to make it large enough that they can see it, but you have to keep it within these two because this is what, if they pulled it up on your a mobile app, this is what they're going to see. So this is the mobile, this is a tablet, and then this is your desktop, and then the whole screen is your TV. So now I'm going to change it to a nicer looking color, so I'm all about hot pinks. Okay, so still making it a little bigger. Okay, so next we're going to add design to this. So I need to come over here where you see butterfly, and then it says your own. We're going to add art that I already selected, so I'm going to show you the art that I already selected and then tell you how to get that. Okay, so let's just start right here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I get this art. So let's go over here and what you want to do is select, like say you want to select a flower. So I'm going to type in flower and then I'm going to type in transparent. And then Tumblr has a lot of the transparent ones, so I'm gonna use Flower Transparent Tumblr. Okay, so now we're gonna come into Images. You can select an image. Now you see that it has checkers. That's what you want. That means that it is transparent. So then you're gonna go into View Image. This is if you're using a Mac computer. And you're gonna go ahead and say, um, save this file onto my desktop. So I want it to save to my desktop. Okay, so I did that and I selected a bunch of different flowers and I did a couple of lipsticks and a couple of quotes and they all had transparent backgrounds. So that's what you want to do in order to get your art. So I've already done that so I'm just going to go ahead and start applying these to my template here. I want to add some channel art. I added this quote, keep calm and apply makeup and making sure that it fits within the template or it will not show if somebody saw it on their tablet or their desktop. So 
So this is gonna go over here. And then I feel like this is a little bit blank, so I'm gonna add some more flowers. So I need to clean this up. So what I'm gonna do is go into the eraser mode and erase some of the bottom here so that it just looks clean. And you actually have to go into each individual one in order to erase the bottom. So you go into the magic wand and then you're going to scroll down to where it shows draw which looks like the pencils. You're going to click on the pencils and we're going to make this bigger, your brush size bigger and then we're going to delete all this background. So we're just erasing all the background. Now you could leave it there if you wanted but what fun would that be? So then we're going to come back into our Google search and you're gonna look up backgrounds so if you want to okay so glitter background if you want a glitter background then we're gonna look for glitter backgrounds if you want a pattern background then you'll type in pattern background so then just you can do glitter backgrounds you can do glitter backgrounds tumblr and then you see that there's images click on your images and then go ahead and choose what you want so I have already chosen what I wanted and I'm gonna come back into here and you see this hashtag looking button over here, click on that. And then I'm gonna go and choose my own. This is the one I wanted here. And that's what it looks like. So if some were somebody were to look at it on a TV, then this is what they're gonna see. So then I'm gonna go into it and save it. Save to my computer. PicMonkey doesn't really give you a name assignment, so just put anything in there so that you're not deleting all your templates that you've chosen. So then you're gonna go ahead and save it. Keep this open just in case you don't like what you've put in there. So then you're gonna come back in to this screen, which is the channel art screen. Select the photo that we just chose, and that's it. And then you'll see that this is, if somebody looked on it on their TV, it would look like this. If they were on their mobile app, it'd look like that. And if they were on a desktop, it would look like this. So then you're going to select it. If somebody pulls up my channel this is what they will see at the top it's always nice if you go to people's channels and you can see pretty you know background art so let's go into a few of the channels that I have like this is a girl named Rosa she's gorgeous that's her channel art this is Kathleen Light she just has a very simple channel banner that girl Shay XO this is her channel ba banner It just gives someone a very unique look. If somebody were to pop up and look at my channel, then they would see that I'm maybe about, you know, beauty, apply makeup or whatever they see makeup. So that is what they're going to see. Oh, actually I saved the wrong one. So we need to save the right one. Again, go into channel art, select a photo, and I saved it as there it is, it's that one. This is the one I just did. Okay, so select, choose. So there it is. So if somebody comes into my channel, this is what they're gonna see. And it just makes it a little bit more personal. I would just suggest that when you Google your image, you want it to have a transparent background so that you're not erasing around whatever and it's not affecting that way like if you had the glitter background like I do you can see it so that is it guys I hope this was helpful and don't forget if you like me give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe press this little subscribe button right there you see that button right there subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later bye